Hey guys, fellas! Today, I'd like to introduce you to the Carondage Le Mans collection. Carondage is a Swiss brand, it's based in Geneva. And a little fun fact is that Carondage means pencil in Russian. So sometimes when my Russian customers are, are here and I talk to them about Carondage, they're like, why are you talking about pencil if they don't know the brand Carondage? And I'm like, no, 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 Carondage is the Swiss brand. So the Le Mans collection is inspired to the Geneva Lake, which is the Lac Le Mans, which is a beautiful lake when you arrive in Geneva and you have that amazing view. Uh, so it's pretty important thing for, for the Genevois. Now, La Maison d'Hôte Écriture has done an amazing job with the Le Mans throughout the years. They even re did like a redesign of the pen. I'm also going to show you like a comparison between the old design and the newer design to see what they actually changed. We have here to be color a new design and an older design. So I think that's a good thing how to compare the two and see uh, the development that the brand has had with this collection. The Le Mans collection is indeed uh, become one of the classic, one of the iconic pieces in the industry of fine writing instruments. And obviously what makes it something special is the touch and feel of the Swiss made uh, product, you know. Uh, Swiss made comes for um, industrial precision, uh, it comes for quality, it comes for uh, like a feel of something that is very, very finely and nicely made. Now, the Le Mans collection, as a basic information, it comes in different kind of uh, uh, colors. Uh, they just released like a, a red one, which should actually come in uh, pretty soon. Uh, one of my favorite of the Le Mans collection is the Grand Bleu, which was released around two years ago. Um, let's go straight ahead. It comes obviously as a pencil, mechanical pencil, as a ballpoint, as a rollerball and as a fountain pen with an 18 karat gold nib. Important thing, the ballpoint has a Goliath refill inside. The Goliath refill is actually produced and developed by Carandash. So when you're using a, 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 a sorry, a ballpoint of Carandash, you'll actually feel the difference than using any other ballpoint. So the, the Carandash ballpoint um, doing here a little Goliath refill test so you can see how it actually uh, writes. It's very smooth. I mean, uh, that's always a feedback we get on, on, on the ballpoint, how smooth the refill actually is. Then we have the rollerball and the rollerball features a marvelous twisting mechanism. So these are exactly the little details that show how much the Swiss made and how much the Swiss engineering uh, makes a difference when it comes to ind industrial processes and industrial making. So it's really like a feeling when you go with the cap and screw it back. It's a one of a kind feeling. I have to say this is a feeling that personally only gives me a current dash when it comes on closing or screwing the pen back. Um, Again, really part of the Swiss-made uh, process in in uh, in the in production. By the way, this is the De Nuit collection, beautiful uh, new collection. It's uh, around one year ago. Uh, you can see the, you can really see the beautiful pattern they create, uh, and then the lacquerite. Same thing for the Grand Bleu. The Grand Bleu. What is special about the Grand Bleu is that you know with. The shine, the light, it depends where you have it, depends um, the way you're holding it. The color changes all the time. So it's really like, it's nice to own a Grand Bleu because every time you're holding it, you like seeing new shades, new little details, and that's what makes a beautiful um, pen. Now, let's do a little compare between the old edition and the newer edition. Let's take the ballpoint. So, let me show you. What we've got here, let me close it down. What we've got here is the older edition with the cashmere color, which by the way, I really, really like, and the black edition. Now, as you can see, one of the main things that has been changed is the top of the cap, 
On the older edition, you had the CDA of Karen Dash. On the other top edition, you had a black detail. You have a black detail. So now you have this like specific design that comes on every Karen Dash. Then also what has changed is the logo on the older and the newer one. Also, what gives it a total new look and feel is the clip. I mean, we have a longer clip, we have a more sleek and designed clip than uh, we used to have on the older edition. And so we can pretty much say that this has been a very, very nice lifting of the classic Le Mans collection that was launched uh, uh, around 10 years ago. So last thing, I want to do the nip test with the Le Mans collection. As I was telling you, we're talking here about the 18 karat gold nib and we have a broad nib now, uh, now here. We're going to test, I'm going to dip it in the Caron Dash ink and see how it feels. The nib is made in Germany, but it's obviously then like redesigned and reworked uh, um, in Switzerland, in, in Karen Dash factory. So let's see how it feels. Definitely, the feeling is good. Sometimes a little, little bit sc scratching, but I have to say, I have like people who are extremely satisfied with Caron Dash Funkin pens. And they don't. I have to say, I find the weight of the pen, I find the feel of the nib, because it has weight, it really adds up when you're writing. And so it's really a very nice feeling holding a Caron Dash, bringing it with you, it's a Swiss-made pen, um, definitely a collection that is totally worth it.